Am Amazon really uh, valued and focus on Amazon uh, leadership principles. Uh, so hi, uh, welcome to uh, another episode of Mentor Talks. Uh, we are going to cover uh, SDT role at Amazon today. Uh, I am Keshav Patil. I am one of the founders at Deepest, and today we have with us uh, Gaurav Banerjee, uh, who is an SD SDT at Amazon. He is a mentor at Deepest and at various other platforms, and he is an active blogger and an active contributor at Stack Overflow. So in any case, if you have been Uh, taking help from Stack Overflow, uh, you might have, in some or the other way, gotten some kind of mentorship or help from Gaurav Banerjee. Also. So, hi, uh, welcome, Gaurav. Welcome to the Mentor Talks. Uh, hi, Keshav. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much for inviting me here. Yeah, it's an honor, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Gaurav, like I have seen, uh, like uh, you being at SDT and uh, looking at the journey that you had, it's it's quite impressive. And uh, we at Preplus thought, you know, uh, we'll make it aware for other people also, and it can be a very in- inspiring story for others who are there in the place where you were before and who wants or are aspiring for you know a job at Amazon. So that's the whole reason why we are here. Uh, so let's start with your career journey. Uh, like. Uh, I, I think after the college, you've been to various companies like IBM yeah. or Walmart. <laughs> right. So yes. we can just go through your career, the career journey. Ah, yeah. uh, sure, Keshav. So, uh, uh, after college, I I passed out at our uh, um twenty uh, twelve. So after okay. that, I I got a job in uh, Pack Media Solutions. So that was a startup in hmm. Kolkata. So hmm. there, actually, I have learned a lot. Uh, so that okay. that uh, role actually was a developer role so i have been Ooh. working as a dev and uh, i have been staying for uh, for uh, one and a half years in that okay. company and i have learned a lot actually so after Ooh. that i landed a job in um, ibm so there also i have got to know how the you know corporate culture uh, is that how to handle different types of projects and uh, i i was fortunate enough to come up across uh, uh, many uh, mentors actually who really That's helped awesome. me to give us give me a lot of projects outside my um uh, project uh, task also yeah. so mm-hmm. I, i have got a exposure so in uh, i was in ibm uh, around uh, two and a half years Uh, and i uh, officially i was in three to four projects but uh, if i i would like to count that how many projects i have worked that probably 20 plus so oh yeah so <laughs> so that was a really great opportunities uh, uh, yeah. for me to learn a different kind of requirements and all mm-hmm. uh, after that again i have got a chance to oracle so there mm-hmm. i got uh, both the task because which team i joined they basically was looking for dev plus qa so i have done the development okay. and uh, qa so till ibm i uh, had no exposure on api i have been working with till uh, ui but from uh, oracle api journey got started actually for me got uh, so got that uh, one year first time actually i have got a chance to work on a api development and also its testing so that's kind of a different flavor actually i mm-hmm. i have got yeah. on my task so uh, after uh, that uh, uh, i had a kind of uh, uh, change uh, in my career and uh, that is in walmart and mm. you know uh, that company is still in my heart so uh, i have oh. been staying for three and a half years in that company and uh, mm. I, i have got amazing colleagues uh, mm. there and the work specially i have got there is uh, I, i really would like to appreciate till now right so the scale the complexity uh, i have got because the team was uh, the very good and the uh, the development they have done on the machine learnings uh, nlps and all right so that was huge okay. uh, and um, so that, and when i joined in that that three years actually that project got developed from scratch so i also got a chance to work uh, from scratch like building the tools and um, things the uh, same and there was a very good concept one uh, inside walmart that they uh, usually conduct a uh, uh, means uh, hackathon Uh, in oh, every yeah, year, yeah. so everyone actually yeah. have, uh, was free to participate with their own ideas. So that yep. basically attracts me a lot, and I still remember that um, uh, there was. So uh, I got the uh, hackathon uh, 
winner prize for probably 2018 or 19 i do not exactly gotcha. remember the year uh, right. but then i won the uh, uh, prize for india then they organize the hackathon again okay. for all the countries so they are mm -hmm. also internationally uh, i own so i have couple of uh, so one team so and that okay. product actually okay. was in production so that was oh. actually you know uh, uh, i'd say some achievement which i still want to remember in walmart okay. but yeah that was a great journey around three okay. and half years learned a lot after that i moved um, uh, to a uh, vmr Yeah. and uh, they are all uh, so that journey was different because the first time i worked on the hardware farm where domain so that okay. was completely new to me and yeah. uh, in, you know yeah so they are actually i my task was uh, not mostly the testing but also rather than the uh, development of those part uh, so yeah, okay. you know so so my career actually kind of a bit of sde and sde yeah, yeah so uh, that's what i'm trying to understand like yeah. so <laughs> you've been in the development part you've been on the api back end side also you've right. done the testing all along that then yeah. you moved to the data science part also where you're working yeah so not data ML science i'd say yeah 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 so data yeah, science yeah also, yeah, 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 yeah. right and so the hardware side also so yeah, correct but but uh, honestly uh, uh, for hardware cert still uh, still i am blind okay so because okay. that that is huge and i oh. uh, was there in vmware for short then you're actually so i don't have a chance to learn and that time it it, it was completely remote so i joined uh, uh, <laughs> within the pandemic time and i oh. uh, means uh, moved from there to amazon as an is okay. it and now actually i have been working here yeah so it's still yeah, so i have been here still one year and yeah the, a, a, a huge learning curve i'd say that's an amazing yeah. journey here yeah true 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 so i just want to understand like so you told us about like what has been your roles in all these companies i am i'm like very keen and interested on you know what exactly is your role in amazon like what exactly is expected out of you uh, or out of the general sdt role in amazon as well right What right yeah sure so uh, unlike uh, most companies amazon have a separate structure here so uh, for most of the companies i have seen the sdts and qa are, are having the same role and same job mm. uh, title but amazon actually have segregated that they have a qae okay. and they have okay. sdts so for sure. both the role the interview structure is different expectations are, are different and projects are also separate so i would okay. say um sdets are uh, the role which you are not going to involve only in the testing but uh, you should create some tools which will uh, help the sdes also so the okay. sde here is uh, uh, creating the customer facing um, product right who mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. is going to use by the end user now user. the sdets are uh, our customer is the sdes and the qa SD. so we okay. are there to create a framework for the qas and we are there to create the tools for the sdes right uh, mm. so because you have heard that amazon is having a lot of internal uh, tools and which are uh, very advanced i, I i'd mm. say right so uh, mm. sdts also have a lot of uh, contribution there so they have been creating a tools from scratch and um, th so i i'd say yeah so, so those are kind of a part of role of sdets uh, acha got it got it so amazon mostly uh, relies on building their own tools which you guys build general uh, it's not the normal qa role that is uh, that, that's like a completely different role because i what i had understanding was it might be something to do with selenium cucumber that's what yeah, i so i can't deny that i we will not work on the selenium or uh, rest assured so but uh, what actually i'm trying to say that, that if uh, it depends upon the projects right so uh, uh, there might be a part that you are going to work on the integration test uh, or kind of hmm. end to end but you are not responsible to uh, create the same from scratch right uh, mm. so, sorry not from scratch i i i mean uh, implement the whole thing rather than you mm. create a framework you have implemented some of them and then mm. you are going to hand over to the sdes or qas mm. that that these are the framework these are the helper or utilities we have created these are the design patterns we have implemented so that this framework is enough for uh, a long term like if you are going to maintain and scale so mm. then uh, we have done our task then you can uh, take care from now 
onwards. So it depends upon the team. So whichever I'm talking about, it might varies from team to team, right? So uh, mm. yeah. So and also, it's not only the automation, but also the tooling part, like creating tools, uh, creating uh, the different mechanism on automation. Mm. So that mm. is uh, one of the major focus area for his devs. Mm. Yeah. Acha. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, like very different. Uh, so what I wanted to understand is like, uh, like th there should be a, an interview process. You told that there's a very different interview process for SDT. There's a different process for QA. If you can touch upon that part, like how different uh, is that? And like, how does it vary from experience to experience, right? Uh, how right. does it uh, vary for junior uh, SDT, senior SDT, lead SDT? So right, right. Sure, sure. So, uh, uh, First, actually, I'd, I'd cover the interview process of how SDET is uh, has sure. been conducted, right? So, uh, again, uh, uh, the focus area should be on um, DSA and uh, uh, and how actually you good at uh, testing fundamentals. So okay. while I'm I'm talking about testing uh, fundamentals, it's not about the particular tool like Selenium or Rest Assured, mm. right? But mm. how uh, you are uh, capable to um, to identify different scenarios, right? Mm. So uh, mm. I, I can give you one example here that while uh, mm. uh, taking an interviews or something, right? So uh, oh. if we are sharing a uh, scenario and a candidate mm. are going to uh, express their thoughts, right? So mm. um, many of the cases we have seen, it's not covered is the 360 degree. What do you mean by that? That uh, once you are responsible for a testing, right? It's not only the mm. functional, but al also mm. the non-functional. You, know, you have to think about how to uh, 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 maintain the same, right? How, what should mm. be the part of automation? What should be the part of manual and how to mm. Plan it right, and uh, mm. also for long run. Uh, if mm. the uh, the scale is going to be high, so how mm -hmm. the the application is being is going to be survived. So these are not the automation concept. I'd say, but I'd say more more uh, 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 testing uh, fundamentals, and Got also it. yeah the um, DSA. So these are the focus areas, and mm. uh, for QA, I think uh, the focus areas are. Uh, the testing fundamentals, of course, mm. and the uh, DSA, but uh, the DSA should not be as much as expected uh, as SDETs. Yeah, so mm. that's the uh, difference. And uh, some of the teams, uh, yeah, so might uh, ask uh, different uh, different questions on system um, architecture, low level design, and what task you have done on the past, right? So. Mm -hmm. If you have mentioned you have created a tools framework, so there are a lot of questions that mm -hmm. how so uh, so that to understand uh, that whether you really have a clear concept on that right and mm -hmm. also um, Amazon really uh, valued and focus on Amazon uh, leadership principles yeah. right yeah. so those yeah. are uh, one of the very important aspects that uh, whether you you match their culture I think every company has done that but i really feel that amazon valued that because once you have mm. joined amazon right in a every aspects like while you are talking to that. any different mm. teams your uh, evolution management so everything will depends upon the same so they really mm. valued the same yeah so that's the process so that's the process